<clears throat> Let me give you a little story and you can skip forward if you don't want to listen. So, about 4 months ago, my laptop started giving me a boot up warning message how there's something wrong. Oh, there's always something wrong and it needs fixing. Also, booting process itself takes good 4-5 to five minutes. You can imagine living with this problem for 4 months, there's clearly a reason for not fixing it earlier. Well, so far I thought only solution I had was to reinstall my whole operating system and have all my files show up in windows.old folder. But that would mean I would lose all my installed programs and I would have to reinstall them again. And some programs are not that small. Some I don't even have on a disk. For me all of this is such a drag, so I decided to delay the repair for some time. But I had enough. Question is simple. Can I somehow fix the issue I am having, refresh my operating system and not lose my files and programs? In this video, I will show you how to do just that. But be warned, you will have to reactivate your Windows 7 operating system. That's the only con I found so far. Now you might ask yourself, oh, why, but why don't you just use Windows 10? Go fuck yourself. Jokes aside, it's my preference, deal with it. Let's get started. First, if possible, boot up into your operating system and check what exact version it is. If you can't, it's fine. Anyways, open start, run and type in WinVer. As you can see, I have Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit version 6.1, build 7601, service pack 1. <laughs> Funny, so many ones. Just, uh, it's good to know. Next, I will need Windows 7 installation disk or an ISO that matches my operating system. It has to be Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. <clears throat> One can find that ISO can be acquired on DigitalRiverMirror.com website and if file names are confusing, it's good to check out my website blog post about ISO names. Oh, by the way, it is perfectly legal to tell you where to get the files, but the very act of downloading is illegal, so have that in mind. I have a disk of my operating system, so I am good to go. First, I turn off my Wi-Fi connection. I do this because I don't want any connection to the internet interfering with my installation or prolonging it. I will install updates later. Disk goes in and I open the setup file that is inside the ISO itself. I click install now. In this next screen, I want to help make Windows installation better is unchecked and I click do not get latest updates for installation. Accept the terms and then I click upgrade. You'll notice it says upgrade to a newer version of Windows and keep your files, settings and programs. That's what I want. Fingers crossed or uh, whatever I'm doing here. After longer analysis, something pops up. I cancel everything. X out of everything. Click next. And here we go. The process has started. Quick note, it will take quite a long time, about 2-3 to three hours I would say for this process to finish, possibly even longer if you have more files as it needs to gather all of them, but surely beats the reinstallation of all the programs and everything. I'll take 2-3 to three hours over 2-3 to three days anytime. No pun intended. If it was even pun, I don't know.
will spare you the waiting game. After a couple of long hours, restarts and whatnots, I didn't touch the computer at all, it would constantly boot into the setup, it would do its thing, and after all of that, you will get the screen that looks like first boot up of Windows 7. After that, it asks you to type in your Windows key. I untick automatic activation and I skip this step. Ask me later and I just click next. Activate later, yada 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 yada. Yeah, 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 benefits, X out of it. And that's it, we're in. Do notice that your operating system is not activated and because of that wallpaper is gone. But other than that, all of my icons and files are where I left them. And this is awesome. I have to say I am super glad to find out that there is actually an option to refresh your operating system and fix all the issues. As you can see my issues have been fixed, my operating system now boots up faster and also there is no warning message at all as uh, I've seen this feature on Windows 10 but I was wondering if it exists on Windows 7 and finally I have discovered that it does. That was one of the features that made me consider switching to Windows 10 as it makes life easier but now I'm sticking with Windows 7 for as long as I can. But that doesn't mean I don't use Windows 10. I just use Windows 7 as my day-to-day -day operating system but surely I do use Windows 10 I just don't think it's a good operating system especially compared to Windows XP. But we'll talk about that in a couple of other videos. If you want to see more convenient stuff like this where I make your lives easier and show you how to do things and demystify everything, stick around and subscribe to the channel because that's what I do here. Fight the bullshit. Any anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you in future episodes. Priest, signing out. Yeah, we like it, but this shit's fantastic. For the ages, feels like it's magic. Hear the clock been haunting my dreams It's been ticking for hours Ticking yeah. for hours Yeah, I feel so old Gotta waste no time Gotta wait in line And the weather's so cold Should've brought my coat At the end of the line On my shit on top